YouTube, what is good? Back at you with another banger. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get all your finishing badges fast and easy. By the end of the day, you're going to have all your finishing badges using this method. So make sure you drop a like. Helps the channel out a lot. And you see how close we are to 7K. Make sure you hit me with that 7K. Basically, you give it to your point guard and you wrap around the baseline and cut in for a lob. And in order to call for a lob, you double tap Y if you're on Xbox. And if you're on PlayStation, double tap triangle. Fast breaks are huge. Once you get a stop, whether you or your teammate gets the rebound, this is where you're going to get a lob out of Yoops. I am wide open transition, double tap Y or double tap triangle for a self alley oop. Yes, that counts as an alley oop finish. So if you have an opportunity for a wide open self lob, do it. Also, go for bump steals as much as you can and go in transition and call for the lob. Transition is huge if I haven't said that already. You see, I'm about to get another bump steal and I'm going to give it to my point guard and then I'm going to wrap around away from the defense, strong attention to the guard. You know, they're worried about the point guard and they're not worried about me. So it gives me an easy alley-oop finish. And obviously you go for the steal every time. You're going to get called for a foul. So be careful with that. I actually don't know if you can foul out in warehouse. I never, you know, tried to find out. You know, once I got four fouls, I stopped reaching. You're about to see it again. We get another stop. I get another rebound. Once again, I outlet to the point guard. And I call for the alley-oop in transition. This one was in traffic. Now, contact dunks are OP. Make sure you buy the contact alley-oop dunks so you get more alley-oops in traffic. And don't be afraid to call for it in traffic. Once you get more finishing badges, make sure you put on Hall of Fame Posterizer and you'll get dunks like that. Put on Lob City Finisher and make sure you put on Slithery Finisher because I think that helps you get open for alley-oop dunks so like you know slurry finisher helps you avoid contact so perhaps you know maybe it'll help you get by off ball or perhaps even slippery off ball i'm not sure so sometimes the computer will make some bs like this and you're not always gonna get the stop let me tell you why that's not a problem all you gotta do here is you inbound to the computer and you are going to wrap all the way around the baseline. And you're going to get an alley-oop dunk. Because you're going to be faster than your opponent if he's a center. And if he's a guard, you're just going to be too strong for him. And you're just going to run right through him. So, you're going to have a mismatch either way. So, make sure you exploit. Now, by the way, check this out. This is hilarious. So look at this alley-oop to Michael Jordan. Bruh. What was that? And if you're wondering why I'm throwing an alley-oop to Michael Jordan when it's a finishing method, the alley-oops do cap off. I'm not sure what the cap is. And some of them, they don't even count. You see, I clipped it on my Xbox. <laughs> like, that was just really funny to me. Another stop. But the reason is, if you throw three alley-oops, then you get to play the same warehouse game again. If you want to know the badge glitch, I'm going to leave the card at... Look at me destroy Penny Hardaway. I'm flopping. I'm having fun in Warehouse. Warehouse is so much better than my career. Warehouse is such a W. It should be in every single 2K. But, hey man, make sure you check out my badge glitch video. I will leave it on the end screen. Uh, I should have a card here at some point if I remember to put it there. Make sure you check that out. That way you can get unlimited Warehouse games. And you'll definitely get your finishing badge fast and easy. Once you find a mismatch you really like, you know, you're going to get your alley-oops either way. You know, the computer's the computer. But there are going to be some teams and some combination of teams that, uh, you know, it's a lot easier for you. I do like this one right here. Uh, who is this guy? I think this is Penny Hardway. And who's the other one? Is that Horace Grant? I don't even remember. You see, the alley -oop misses. Like I said, it's for alley -oop attempts to get this badge glitch going. So it doesn't really matter. And, you know, at this point, I'm obviously not really trying. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't really try either way. But I think I go for the wraparound again. Sometimes they will defend it. You know, you just gotta keep giving it back to your point guard and whatever. You know, until you, you get it. But most of the time, you're gonna get it on the first try. I get ripped on some BS. I don't even know why I'm commentating the game. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> you guys basically know the method, you know. If it's an inbound, you know, you just wrap all the way around the baseline. 
and you know you're gonna be too fast or too strong for your opponent you know try and get as many bump steals transition opportunities as possible that way you know you get an easy alley-oop opportunity and you know if you're in transition at all it doesn't matter you know outlet to your guard and wrap away from the defense draw that attention to your guard and not yourself and you'll get an easy alley-oop and of course if you're by yourself in transition with the ball you know just throw a self alley-oop you see they didn't count all the alley-oop dunks i don't know why that is you know it's just it's stupid and sometimes it'll be four it'll be five it'll be six i don't know but look at all that finishing and that is with the game bugging out not counting everything you know it is what it is but this is the best way for me there might be a better way to get out you dunks you see i'm gonna get the same warehouse game again by the way just to show that this badge glitch is legit i really want y'all to check it out after this video also let me know if you want me to do a playmaking badge method because playmaking in my opinion is the easiest and you know i got y'all with that i mean I'm, I'm gonna do it regardless but you know still i want y'all to let me know if you need a playmaking badge method and you know i got one for shooting too i'm not gonna make one for defense i really don't know i mean i just go for bump steals i try to bait for chase down blocks and i camp rebounds that's literally all i do for defense so that's why defense is going to be the last badge category that i max i did end up maxing my finishing you saw at the end of the last game i had my shooting and playmaking maxed and you know defense i think i have two more badges to go you know i'm basically just playing at this point you know uh trying to complete the warehouse games. i'm not doing the glitch anymore i'm just trying to beat all of them so i can get the mama mentality badge so you see i'm just throwing alley oops i'm you know to get this glitch underway because i do like this team that i'm playing also i want y'all to know that you're probably going to ask me in the comments i know some of you aren't going to watch the whole way through i understand you know i know uh that's just not how people do things on youtube but you can do this method on 3v3 i tested it i started playing other teams after this i was doing finishing method you could still do that wraparound stuff you know it all works it all works on the 3v3 don't want y'all to think it's just 2v2. I will admit that this alley-oop method, the finishing method, it does work a lot more effective on the 2v2. And another thing I forgot to add is not only are you going to get alley-oop dunks, you're getting posterizing dunks as well. You're just going to get posterizing dunks naturally. And posterizing dunks are the most effective way to get points towards your finishing, you know, along with lobs so you're gonna get the best of both worlds and you're gonna get a lot of finishing but that's pretty much all i got for this video if you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button turn on post one notifications help me hit that seven down subscribers and uh you know make sure you check out that badge glitch video and make sure you check out my future videos but i'm out peace